Well, first of all, Congress should never gone along with giving the president the extraordinary powers they've given him under the FISA law revisions, giving the president the power to engage in the wireless wiretapping of American citizens, giving telecommunication companies immunity for participating in warrantless wiretapping. And of course, Congress should make use of its powers of contempt to hold in contempt those folks who have refused to answer questions about what they were doing on issues like the firing of U.S. attorneys. And I think it was completely wrong for congressional leaders to say, quote, impeachment is off the table. You're look looking at an administration where there's strong evidence that they lied deliberately to the American people to get us into, the, into a war. You're also looking at an administration that has admittedly engaged, again, in the wireless wiretapping of American citizens. If you look at the Watergate articles of impeachment, Richard Nixon was impeached in part for lying to the American people about the conduct of the Watergate investigation which arguably wasn't quite as important as the idea of lying to people about a war. And Richard Nixon was impeached in part for the wireless wiretapping of American citizens. That's why I feel that simply as a matter of historical fairness to Richard Nixon, Congress needs to consider at least investigating the possibility of impeachment for Condoleezza Rice and Dick Cheney and George Bush.